I'll tell you two incidents, personal incidents. My wife has seen the death news of me, mine, on the television twice. Oh gosh. Once when she was eight months pregnant. First time when she saw this news, I was a major in Lolab. A news came, another officer by similar name, he was uh, killed in action there. So news ticker said, Major KJ Singh, Rashtriya Rifles, Lolab. So she saw the news. She was eight months pregnant. She was staying with her old parents. She did not tell anyone. Those days were the days of no mobiles and all. The next day morning, she was the first one to get up and go and stand at the gate, pick up the newspaper. Because newspaper carried that headline. She hid that newspaper from her parents. In spite of her condition of being eight months into pregnancy, she was more bothered about her old parents, the responsibility, Jimewari, Imandari, Wafadari. Now, second time is even more critical. Second time, I was commanding officer in Kashmir, an officer by similar name. He again was killed in action. Again, the news came, Kal KJ Singh killed in Jammu and Kashmir. And this time, she was staying in the unit rear in Rani Khet, near Rani Khet place called Chobatiya. And the whole battalion was in Kashmir. In Chobatiya, that military station, there were Joan's wives, Jesu's wives and other officers' wives also staying in the same station. She got the news around about 11 in the night. The whole night with two children, one about eight years old, one about three years old. She kept awake the whole night thinking, what will I do all alone by myself and with these two children? Come the first light, this is the point I'm making. She was very clear the officers' wives and other Joan's and Jesu's wives would come to her place to console her, to you know, sit with her. And she as commanding officer's wife did not want to be seen as a shattered woman. She got up, she dressed up, she combed her hair and she was ready to face any visitor who comes. And face with full vigor, full confidence of being a commanding officer's wife who cannot waver under any circumstances. Now, our ladies are stronger than the soldiers. I always say, Military wives are the strongest people on this planet. She was not bothered about her personal loss. She was more bothered about the being a wife of a commanding officer. She can't be seen as a weak person because their husbands, the Juans, husband, Juans and the Jesuits, were still in Kashmir fighting it out. So this is the type of role, the leadership role. It's not only limited to the yeah. uh, people in uniform. Our ladies are the biggest sport system with and they us. get no medals for it uh, ma'am <laughs> uh, i made it a point to give all these incidents in my book hmm. and bring it out that what role they play in a soldier's life well, what happened when when she got to know that khabar to galat thi he's alive ma'am her first reaction was she says kisi na kisi ne to khoya hai she had a horrible uh, night she says if i feel happy now that won't be correct Someone has gone. So she said it in these many words when I spoke to her. Okay, you are there, but someone is not there. For them, the loss is same. For G, they have to say this, that, strong, you know, rope dar awaz. Under we are the softest people at heart. Because we've seen the death and life from very close by. So we understand the human relations hr ka jo department hota na in corporate world hamare se bada hr koi nahi hai you live it we live it every day kyunki mam us corporate ka mahine ke aakhir mein 5 lakh 10 lakh upar niche ka nuksan hai employee of the month i always say unka to mahine ke baad aata hai employee of the month photo lagti hai hamara to mam employee of the moment hai 